Secondary indexing. A secondary index is an index which is created on some non-ordering field of the file. That is, a field on which the file is not physically sorted on the disk. Assume a set of contiguous blocks are allocated for this data file. Now we can see the records of this file are not physically sorted or ordered according to this field. Hence this field is the non-ordering field of the file. And the index is created with this non-ordering field as the index search key. Such an index is called the secondary index. The file is unordered according to the index search key, but the index will always be ordered. This non-ordering field can be a key field for which every data record is having a unique value for it. Otherwise, it may be a non-key value for which multiple records may have same value for it. Whatever be every data record will be having a corresponding entry in the index. Because the data file is unordered or unsorted according to this field, hence the block anchor method such as in primary indexing won't work here. Thus every entry will be having, every data file entry will be having a corresponding entry in the index. So since every uh, data file record is having an indexed record, we can say that this type of indexing is not sparse. When every record is having a corresponding entry in the index, then for every search key value will be having an entry in the index. Hence, this type of indexing is dense too. The secondary index is always dense and not sparse. Now each index entry consists of the index search key and a pointer. This pointer can be a record pointer which points to the exact record address or can be a block pointer which points to the block containing the record. Now why it's called secondary index? Sometimes this file may already be sorted according to its primary key and a primary index may already exist on it. Else it may be sorted on some non-key and a clustering index may exist on it. So some primary access method already exists in the form of either a primary index or in the form of a clustering index. Now if we find that there are more frequent queries on some other field on which the file is unordered then we can create a secondary index on it based on that non-ordering field for the fast retrieval of the record for the queries based on that field. The secondary index acts as a secondary access method for which some primary access method may already exist. And we can have any number of secondary indexes on a file. And the number of index entries in the secondary index is equal to the number of data records since every record will be having a corresponding entry in the index. So the size of the secondary index will be large compared to the primary or the clustered index. But in the absence of secondary index, for the queries based on the non-ordering field, the only option is a linear search on it since it is unordered. But if we have a secondary index, the size of each index entry will be small. Hence overall the size of secondary index will be less compared to that of the data file. And the secondary index will be ordered based on the index search scheme. Hence, we can perform a binary search on it. Thus, overall, the number of block accesses required will be less.